my God. My, my God. Oh, God, no. What are we doing? What are we doing? Right, start off. Belinda Doyle, your old man was there today. He said you really like the show, so keep the faith up, sweetheart. And you're lucky you never were there today, to be honest. Yeah, because um, the thousand or so that made that trip up there, they deserve their money back. They deserve a big pat on the back from the club because today is going to be a very, very different kind of um, report here. I'm disappointed we've lost that game because I've not got to Danny LaRue how we've lost that. They had literally one shot of it of no and he scored. Fair play, put it in the back of the onion bag. We, on the other hand, have had 22 shots, eight on target. Yes, you can say the keepers had keep a weldy, and yes, Burke hit the bar, it bounced over, maybe or not, maybe not. But our shooting was woeful. Woeful beyond disbelief. And I'm not going to slate the performance, because I'm going to make, gonna make a couple of things really, really clear here and now. Yes, we haven't scored in four games. And that is the strikers, lack of creativity, lack of... Um, you know, they're not doing enough in front of the goal. But... We've only let two goals in in that period. So let's give credit to the defence. Because the defence can't be put in the same bracket as what are attacking um, prowess or lack of prowess in that thing. Now, if there's an issue of any side here or anything you do in life, you practice doing that in training or in any trade you do more. So my opinion, my, in my opinion, why are we not practising striking and build up play in the final third in training more so than what we are defending. Because in my opinion, we know how to bloody defend, but we don't know how to shoot. We are not penetrating in the box. We do not hit that ball. Yes, he saved well, but the conviction, there is absolutely no conviction in any one of our shots, bar Burks today. And Burks one was unlucky because he... Um, He's hit the bun there for the bar. He's hit that well enough. I mean, people are on his back at the moment. It's another debate. He's a good enough player to turn our season into a promotion season if firing on all cylinders. At the moment, he is not. If we start with Long in goal, he didn't have anything to do apart from pick the ball out the back of the onion bag, to be honest with you. Hutchinson and Coops, solid. McNamara, very good performance. Bar that one he put over the bar. Macca. You know, I know your old man, Kev. I know, I know you well. Did lie about giving my daughter a shirt. She's not happy you didn't give her your shirt at West Brom Germany, especially when you give it to somebody else. That one's got to hit the target when you put it over. It has to hit the target. If it goes, hits the target, it goes in. You're only criticism for me there, Maka. Yeah? Let's, let's, try, let's, let's in training get that conviction. Wallace, you know, not bad. And if there's going to be a criticism of Wallace, it's the headers from corners. You're in good positions, you, Hutch, Cooper. You're not chipping in with those three or four, three to five goals each, which is affecting us. You need to be strong at corners, the pair all three of you, and put them in that in the back of the net because you're putting them off target. You're not even on target. It's woeful. It's absolutely woeful. I look at it now as we've lost all our chances. We've lost all our chances. We've had our little life. It was in our hands. It now is fingertips by a thread in our hands. We need to now take the fucking ball by the arms. And we go out against Preston and we go attack, attack, attack. The Millwall way. We lose 3-1. We lose fucking 3-1. I cannot sit through another game of not scoring a fucking goal. Quite simple. So practice and practice very hard this week about how to hit the ball. You are professional footballers on between 10 and 35 grand a week. You should at least be able to hit the fucking target. So we need to look at ourselves this week and go, do you know what? All those stands that travel all over the country, we fucking deserve more. And you should be putting the ball in the back of the net. You need to beat Preston and you need to beat Birmingham. Quite simply, that's what you need to do. Because I tell you, Wigan ain't going to be an easy ride. North Blackpool and Blackburn's last game of the season, we both could be in the fold to make the playoffs. So let's make it comfortable going into that game by putting points on the ball, by scoring goals, because we're keeping goals out. We score two goals in the game, we win every game mainly. Because we don't let in more than one goal. We need to penetrate. 
Fleming, you've been off form. We need more from you again now. Pick it up. Honeyman, you're big game players. Mitchell's back. Brilliant. Bradshaw's worked his socks up, but I'd like to see him a bit of a bit more help from him. Why are we not looking at the 23s? What striking option got? Botang was a good attacking midfielder in um, the 23s. Why are we not trying to bring on these players and put them on the bench to blood them into this side? We need help. We got Leonard out. We got Cresswell out. We needed both of them as cover for both Hutchinson and Mitchell. We're, we're bare bones. We're on the edge of this. Now come on, Millwall. Galvanise. Do the one fucking good thing. Mill, Mill's good at galvanising and fighting for each other and sticking up for each other and seeing this over the fucking line and making those playoffs because we've made the Hey, you, Mill!